Welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new here, I'm Noelle and today we're going to be going thrifting together and then hopefully from our thrifted clothes we get we can do a full week of thrifted outfits. I've never actually really sat down and thrifted at a Goodwill for like a long time so this should be a really interesting video. Today we're going to be going to Goodwill and Prado's closet and I'm hoping to find some really good summer pieces. Also I'm going thrifting today with one of my best friends, Audrey. I feel like we can help inspire each other to thrift better. So let's go thrift. <laughs> We've been thrifting for a minute. It hasn't been exactly successful. The vision for this, this looks ugly on camera. Okay, but just the camera vision. vision for this, and you cut it up and use it as like a little baby tee, like sew it on. You'll just see. You know what I mean? Some crops. I don't know. Cut the neck off. A little summer t-shirt. I got this shirt. Should I try on? Wait, it's cute. It's really cute. I like that. Do you need some help there? Yes. Love how we're just trying stuff on the back. I didn't find anything, so I'm hoping to your vision. <laughs> I'm not really feeling the vision. This is our next item. Got it. Oh, I cut the sheets. The sheets? <laughs> I like that. Wait, it's cute. Right, you think it's gonna fit me? Like these are better. I feel like it's better. These are also, wait, wait, these are $4.49. Ooh. Okay, little steal of the deal. This is, this best is the best one that I have. I'm obsessed with that. That's our little haul, I think. Baby, baby. Hi guys, I'm back from the thrift store. It's been a couple days since I actually went thrifting. Once I got home, I immediately threw everything in the wash and then I had to wait for everything to dry because some of the stuff took forever to like dry since I had to hang on like a rack. I had a pretty successful thrift trip and I got some goodies. I have a pretty big bag full of stuff, but I'm not gonna lie, it was kind of hard to go thrifting. The Goodwill we went to was a brand new Goodwill. We went at like 10 in the morning right when the store opened up and as soon as we got there, it was immediately packed. The entire parking lot was almost filled up at 10 a.m. in the morning on a Monday. Like, what? All the good stuff kind of got picked over already. We had to turn our creative thinking on. There was a lot of this but crop. I was still able to pick up some really good stuff. And then after Goodwill, we had to find this closet. And one year, my house kind of usually serves 2019. If that's the vibe, that's great. But like not Visco 2019, like awkward graphic stage 2019. Before I get into showing you everything I got, I'm going to do a little run through of the prices. We went to Goodwill first and I spent a total of $34.43. $36 was tax. I got seven things. And then from Plato's closet, I spent a total of $21.00 six cents with tax included and I got two things that means I spent a total of $54 before tax I'm just gonna go through this in random order because I have no clue the order I actually got these things in so one of the first things I picked up was this long sleeve and I don't know I just like the color of it I thought it was cute I didn't really pay attention to brands when I went thrifting which I don't know if I should have or not but the brand is Gap which I didn't know that when I picked it up but I think what drew me to it was the fact that it was orange like this color is giving summer like, and I think it'd be cute off the shoulder with like a little umbrella underneath it I'm gonna try everything on and then we'll decide like what needs to be cropped and what needs to be cut and altered. Okay, here it is on. This color of orange is actually like a flattering orange and not like a ugly orange. The sleeves are kind of throw me off. They're a little short where I could crop it. Like, I don't know. Like, possibilities. I like it. And I cannot wait to style it. And then the next thing I got is this little striped tee. I love this top. It definitely needs to be cropped. Like, this length is just not good. This is a normal length. It's giving, it's kind of serving 2000s baddie. Like, this in the 2000s would have been. But like, I'm not in the 2000s. I'm in 2024. Not doing much for me. However, I do think if I chopped her, she could be kind of cute. Okay, the next up, this is something I'm so excited for. As soon as I walked in there I saw like 6,000 for pairs of striped shorts so I had ended up deciding which pair I like the most and I am obsessed with these shorts the whole pinstripe little comfy shorts have been all over my Pinterest recently these were $4.49 which like hello these are from the brand so so I feel like I used to wear this as a kid when I was in like fourth or fifth grade but this is a size 7 which I'm a little worried about I'm not a size 7 so they might have to alter these a little bit but again just put them on and they're definitely serving very very low rise on me very big in the waist I would say to maybe about twice the size of my waist but the leg part honestly fits pretty good like in the hips these fit good like the butt fits good i think i could get away with like using one of those like waist adjusters to help fix the waist another thing i will say though is that i noticed they have kind of cuff right here at the bottom it's like a tiny tiny little stitch holding them together so i think i could seam rip them if they're a little bit longer okay then next i got this baby doll top i paid 4.99 for this although i will say there's one thing that made me like hesitant to buy this it's super cute this is shein but it's like not like cheap shein it feels comfy and good so i was like i'll pick it up and i feel like this top is already worth more than four dollars regardless of being shein you guys like come on you can't hate on this top it's not too big at all and it's definitely long enough that i can wear it to school too the next thing i got i was iffy about i went in with the intention to find graphic men's oversized vintage like bg t-shirts and let's just say the men's section was looking a lot like meme 2016 or like xxls so i was really disappointed by the graphic tees but in the women's section i actually found this it doesn't really have a brand on it i'm assuming this is just like from some little souvenir shop i paid 4.99 for this and my vision for this 
this is to just chop the neck off and wear it like off the shoulder. She's cute. She's very much neon. The neck on it's kind of weird, so definitely I'm gonna be cutting it. I didn't realize this when I picked it up, but the words are like actually sparkly, kind of. It has little seashells and the neck off when I'm tan. The next thing I got is this little mini skirt. I paid four dollars and forty nine cents for this. We found this towards the end of the thrift trip, and let me tell you, when we saw this, our mouths dropped. We had already walked to the skirt section once, and we found this this pattern. This is actually from the brand Wild Fable, which is like Target's little brand. I paid four forty nine for this, and I'm gonna show it, but the length is pretty good. It hits mid calf, which is definitely a mini skirt. I might take like a little pin and like pin it in the back a little bit, so it'll be a little bit tighter on the waist. I'm so excited to wear this. Okay, then as we were leaving, this lady was like starting to put clothes on the like racks and restock, and we were walking out, and I saw this, and we were like, Noelle, that is horrendous. But you also may be like, Noelle, that's cute. Honestly, I don't know. This was brand new with tags when I picked it out. This is from the brand C New York. I thought the pattern of it was something interesting. I don't really think like this. I like the quilted kind of vibe. I paid $4.99 for this. Let's try it on and see. Okay, so it definitely does fit, but I don't really know. It's kind of a weird link. I had the vision for this originally that if it didn't fit me skirt wise, I would just cut it up and use it to make a little baby tee with because I saw this thing on TikTok. This is a stretchy waistband though, so I'm gonna try to roll over the waistband so it makes it more of a better link for me. I roll over the waistband. Why do I kind of like it? It's kind of ugly, but I kind of like it. Like if I style it like this with a basic white top and then some white covers, I think it's kind of cute. I want to look up this brand since it's brand new tags and see how much it costs. See your quilted skirt. You guys, did I just accidentally thrift a designer skirt? I couldn't find this exact same skirt because I think it's like out of stock or whatever, but I found this skirt. It's another one that quilted little floral skirts. It retailed for $325 brand new. There's literally no way. Am I rich now? So I think I just found a designer item. Now I like can't cut this up. I like have to wear this as a skirt. That's insane. Okay, anyways, this was the last thing I got from Goodwill. Afterwards, I went to Plato's Closet and we went in really quickly. We spent like 15 minutes in there, maybe. The first thing I picked up from Plato's Closet is this little blouse top. Before you question it, I have a vision. I think it can be really, really cute. Don't let these things, these little weapons distract you. I paid $8 for this and it's from the brand THML. Okay, here it is on. <laughs> it's definitely more of a statement piece. Don't get me wrong. I think that if I were to cut off these little tassels, it would be so much cuter. And it's like a linen material and then the embroidery on the top is literally beautiful. Like, I'm convinced that thrifting is just seeing the vision for things. <laughs> the last thing I've played this closet is this little dress. I paid $12 for this. The most expensive thing in the haul by far, but I think it's worth $12. When Audrey and I saw this, our first thought was immediately love shack fancy dude. So the brand is Yvonne and Love. And I'm pretty sure I got this. This is also brand new tag. So the thing about this though is when I, when I picked it up, I was like, oh my gosh, it's so cute, but it's a size large. Like that's never gonna work. Tell me what world this looks like a large. Like it's short, okay? I definitely need to alter this, but I think it could work. Okay, I just put it on. Here it is. I need to stitch like right here. And I think I need to just generally take in the waist a little bit. Like tell me this would be the cutest little dress ever. I wonder if this actually is a love shack fancy dupe. Because the more I look at it, I feel like it definitely is. Oh my gosh, I'm literally right. This is the dress that's a dupe for I'm pretty sure like you cannot tell me that doesn't look literally identical this is the love shack fancy b patchwork floral silk dress and apparently this retails for like 300 dollars. so again i was really balling on a budget getting the good deals today now i'm gonna go and we're gonna alter everything a little bit okay hi guys it's been a minute since i lost update y'all but right now it's like later in the night i want to try to do the thrift flip portion of this video out of the nine items i bought only like four of them need to be worked on today i'm pretty sure first thing i want to do is i want to go with these shorts and i'm just gonna seam rip i don't know if you tell there's a little cuff holding them together and i don't love that i'm just gonna use some scissors and be really careful with it like it's literally just pulling out Okay, they look so much better now. Okay, that's one successful DIY down. This is the next one I have, which is this. I'm just gonna cut off the strings because I don't like the way they look. You literally can't even tell they were there now. Look how much better the shirt looks. I have this t-shirt left, which I'm gonna cut the neck off of. So I'm gonna put this on a rack and then like mark it out, I think, and then cut it. It's definitely a little wonky, but I'm gonna try it on and see. Okay, yeah, I definitely need to cut a lot more. Okay, I honestly cut that much better that time. I think it looks better, so I'm gonna try it on again. Okay, yeah, I definitely think it's a lot better. Now I'm gonna try another striped shirt and see where I need to cut it at. Okay, verdict. I think at the bottom of this white line would be a good length, so I think I'm gonna cut it there. Honestly, it looks really good. The cut looks really seamless, and I'm excited to see how it looks on. This is such a better length. It looks so much cuter at this length, I think. This is gonna go so well paired with some jean shorts. I'm so excited. Overall, I can say that to be a very successful thrift flip. Hi okay, guys, now it's time for the styly portion of this video. I'm so excited. Also, I don't know if you can hear anything in the background, but if you do happen to hear any type of like yelling or screaming or like cheering, it's my neighbors. <laughs> Disregard that. I love watching haul videos, but I feel like people never actually talk about how they actually style the pieces or show me like what they're actually gonna wear. And I'm like, well, how are you gonna show me what you bought 
but I don't know how you're gonna wear it. So now I'm gonna show you how I would wear each of the pieces. First step, I decided to style this shirt. Also, just saying, I decided to move you so that you could see the full length of the outfit. But this is the first outfit I would wear. This is the top I thrifted. And I don't know, this top is just giving me the best summer vibes. And I paired it with these blue. They're kind of like a mid-wash. I've been obsessed with this wash of denim shorts recently. And I honestly, I think even like a longer denim short would be cute with this. I want to order some longer, like non-ripped ones that kind of go like more like to here. And then for shoes, I just paired it with my white Converse because I think... I think the matching is just really, really cute. I don't know. I like simple outfits like this. Here's the next outfit. I don't know if you can tell by the sounds I'm making. But I'm wearing my Adidas Gazelles. These are some of the by far loudest shoes I've ever owned. I was walking across the classroom the other day. This dude in my class, he was like, no, those are your shoes? And I was like, yeah, they, they are my shoes. And I, you know, what about it? What about my shoes squeaking? But regardless of their squeakiness, I think this outfit's really, really cute. I just paired this little gray Hollister baby tee with this thrifted skirt. This is the $300 designer skirt. I wasn't really sure how I want to style this pattern because it's a little bit aggressive, but I think I figured out a way to make it look really cute by pairing it with basic top and basic shoes. Here is the next outfit. I honestly, again, I love this outfit too. I feel like this one's definitely giving more of like a better go on a hike. One thing about my style, one thing about my Pinterest feed is it's all over the place. One minute I will have a summer bikini outfit and then the next outfit I'll see will be borderline. I'm about to go to a tea party and the next one's like I'm gonna go on a hike. I'm an indecisive person but I like this outfit a lot. The top is the one I thrifted. These shorts are just these really cute little low-rise cargo shorts from PacSun and then I just have on my Nike socks and my little Birkenstock clog hoops because I'm not paying whatever like $120 for a little thing. It's really maybe 20 bucks. This color orange is definitely good for some and this top is definitely also light enough that I can wear it when it's warm outside. Here's the next fit. I again love this outfit. For the top, I just put on this white little baby tee from Hollister. And then for the bottom, these are little striped shorts I thrifted. And then my trusty little Adidas gazelles. I would ideally wear a longer version of this top. I have one from Addicted. It's like a longer version of this, but I don't feel like putting it on my closet. So I'm quite literally obsessed with these shorts. They're the perfect little pinstripe type of short. Okay, here's the next fit. I actually really like this t-shirt. I think when I'm tan, this is gonna be. This next fit's getting comfy. It's definitely more of like a realistic, I don't want to pick out an outfit for school, so this is what I threw on type of fit. This is a little top I thrifted. I cut the neck off. I like it. Underneath it, I just have this white little Hawaiian tank. And then these shorts are from Shein. There's cute little gray sweatshirt and my Nike saw Burke Duke duo. I'm loving the fit. What can I say? I think this is the most true to me out. Here's the next fit. So this is a thrifted little top I got. I love the embroidery. I paired it with these cute little black shorts. These are from Airy. And then I paired it with my pink Converse. I just, I don't know. I love it. I think it's really cute. I don't know. I'm running out of things to say. I feel like saying cute and I love it and I'm obsessed. I feel like that's just the only thing I've been saying. I feel like I need to change up my vocabulary. This top is very exquisite. See, that just sound doesn't hit the same though. Like cute just hits different. Here's the next fit. Again, I would definitely wear a longer white top with this. I'm wearing the same little Hollister white BBT thrifted little skirt that I'm literally obsessed with. This pattern is to die for. And my squeaky Adidas gazelles. I think this fits really cute and I also think this would look really cute if my hair was like up and I had one of those adorable little like flower claw clips in it to match the floral skirt. You see the vision? And if I wore a longer top with it, like it'd be really cute for church. My hair is on its last life, so I'm gonna make this quick. Here is the next and final outfit. This is the top I thrifted, and then I have these white little Levi's and I ride in these gazelles. My company saying, well, the shoes don't match, and I don't like where the shoes look at this. You know what? I don't care. But I just, I wanted to wear the Vendee's gazelles, guys, okay? I wanted to wear a different shoe. I feel like I'm wearing the same four shoes in this video. And I think they almost match. It's something different, and I think it's better than just wearing a basic shoe with it. I think it's cute. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoyed watching me go thrifting and styling all these outfits. This is one of the most fun videos I filmed in probably a while. Just if you're still watching, comment down below which outfit was your favorite. You can either like do it by number or just comment like what the outfit was. But yeah, if you guys are still watching, thank you guys so much. The fact that we're almost at 250,000 of you guys is absolutely insane. I know a lot of you guys that are watching this aren't actually subscribed. So if you're watching this and you're not subscribed, I'm looking at you. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys next week with a brand new video. Bye guys. Yes.